Hi internet, I'm Udoka, welcome to my channel. I know I'm posting a lot about Trisha Paytas, okay? This is becoming like a Trisha Paytas account, but it is so intriguing, it is so enlightening, it is so entertaining, it is it's everything that you can want in a YouTube video to pass the time while you're cooking or taking a shower or whatever. So you asked, I will deliver. <laughs> she, she, po she posted this, she posted this and she really wants people to fall for it. By the way, welcome to my channel. I brushed out the hair. There is makeup applied. There is new lighting fixtures. We are trying to upgrade ourselves as we deeply analyze the fake apology of Trisha Peta. So I highly recommend that if you subscribe, you subscribe because you like my vibe. I'm always experimenting with this channel because I don't know, I'm, you know, I'm changing all the time and the internet is changing all the time. But um, l let's analyze this video. I already watched, oh, I watched six minutes of it and I filmed some commentary already and I was like, oh my gosh, this is going to be too long. So, <laughs> so I'm like, let me just start over. Let me just start over. Okay. Let's, is this the beginning? Here we go. I, you know, I can't really go online right now and look at comments or, um, let's do it faster. I, I turn off comments on TikTok. I'll probably turn off comments on this video. Um, you turn off comments on every video. I I delete it. It you know, and it's almost like I can't escape it because you know I get emails. The like, freaking insider email me. I was like, if you want to comment, I'm we like, don't care. Videos. And I was like, she deleted. We don't care. Videos. Like, what are they trying to hide? Like, and um, I, just, I, I briefly saw and I had to skim past because I like I felt physically sick about it. We don't um, care. Who I've um, interviewed and met and Courtney um, Stodden. You know, talked to as a person before. She um, made this video because of um, Courtney Stodden. Um, something and it's an old clip. I deleted thirteen. This video is for Courtney Stodden, not for you, um, not for us. My main channel and a lot from this channel and um, Courtney Stodden. I saw posted a video, one of those videos from literally probably twelve years ago. If you don't know who Courtney's, was that a cut? I saw and I saw posted a video, one of those videos from literally probably 12 years ago. Yeah, that was a cut. So that lets you know that um, this video was edited. She put these video clips into some form of editing software. Just keep that in mind. Um, Courtney Stodden is the 16 year old who married a 50 something year old back in the, was it the 2000s? I don't remember when this was, but this was back in the heyday with Jerry Springer and all of them. And they didn't give an F. It was very, it was a very misogynistic time. Um, if I was born not during this time, maybe I would never have become a feminist. Like this was a very misogynistic time. It was very clear and obvious to me as a prepubescent child. It was just so obvious to me. And it's like, okay, now in 2020, we all want to pretend like we didn't know, you know, I don't buy that. How can I be like prepubescent and know, but y'all grown adults don't know. But anyway, back then they were making fun of her. They were saying, why are you a gold digger? Why is your interest not in other things that 16 year old girls are into? And it was just a time where, you know, even Pink made a, vid a music video called Stupid Girl, Stupid Girl. Do y'all remember? And Destiny's Child had a song that goes, Now she put some clothes on, I told ya. Don't walk out your house without some clothes on, I told ya. It was just really, like, the misogyny was everywhere. <laughs> the misogyny was everywhere. It was just really a time where you just blame the female, you just, whatever the situation is, you just, what did the female do? What, what did she do? And Courtney was victim of that. Now 
The media would not exploit the 16-year-old. The media would be interviewing the 51-year-old and asking him, why are you marrying a minor? What are you doing? Right? She also was, um, she, her mom, I believe, was forcing her to go on to these interviews. And I think Dr. Drew was there when they did a mammogram test to see if her fun bags, which let me not use that word fun bag, to see if her mammary glands were real or if they were implants. This chick was like 16, 17. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. And Trisha Paytas was on a kick where she uh, Chrissy, Chrissy Teigen was making fun of her and Trisha Paytas was all about canceling Chrissy Teigen and protecting Courtney. And, um, and I think Trisha just related a lot to Courtney. And I think Courtney became one of Trisha's obsessions and Courtney went on Trisha's show and you know, had a friendly relationship and it's only when that person calls Trisha out for making fun of her that Trisha now feels awful, now feels the need to address it. This video was not made for you or me. It was made for Courtney Stodden. Uh, I was doing a parody of them. Um, I mean, I was freaking like 20, 23. You were older than that. I mean, I just, just stupid. I mean... And I couldn't even read the caption because I just felt physically sick. I read like a little and just saw that it was. She didn't even read the caption that Courtney Stodden put. So Courtney Stodden re-uploaded the disgusting video making fun of her that Trisha made. And she wrote a caption. It was really heartfelt. And Trisha didn't even read it. Trisha, I understand you feel so embarrassed and, and, and you feel sick with yourself. But you couldn't even, you couldn't like... If you're truly sorry, you would be thinking about the feelings of your victim. You would at least read what the victim had to say about your parody piece. It's not good. Something of, I saw, again, I was with someone else and they just said, you know, she, they just posted this and, um, why did she leave um, this in? But right? This video was edited. Why is she leaving in all of her agitation and discomfort? It was just, sorry, I had to move. You know, I, I was, I was such a different person back then. I, you know, I deleted all those videos. You're, you weren't such a different person. You're literally still the same. You're still the same. You do the same type of stuff now. First of all, I feel awful. I feel awful. I feel awful about all those videos when I was deleting them. I felt sick to myself. Why didn't you feel awful? Why didn't you feel awful when people were calling you out during frenemies? Why weren't you feeling awful when people were calling you out before you got on frenemies? Why aren't you feeling awful when people were calling you out during the DID debacle? Why weren't you feeling awful when people were calling you out during the trans debacle? What? The list goes on. Why are you just now feeling you know, awful? It's because of Courtney Sodden. That's why you just now feel awful. And reposting old videos and, oh, Trisha did this and they did that and, you know. They're all awful. They're all, there's, there's a lot of disgusting things, but the one thing I was. So why did it take you so long to delete them? Why are you just now deleting them? About when talking about other people, which, you know, I've, I've learned like the biggest lesson through all this is to like mind my own business. <laughs> I know nothing about other people's lives. I don't know what they're going through. Like mind my own business. You know what I mean? And I'm, I'm thankful for that lesson. Cause like, I'm not even going to comment on that. Um, hi. Um, Imagine like you're just walking in the parking lot. You see Trisha recording a video. You and, Why would she? I don't know. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't interrupt whoever that was. I wouldn't interrupt. That's just funny. But one thing I was always, I've been adamant about at least the past year. Like I, I never like bring up stuff from way back in people's past. Yes, you did. You did with Shane and Jeffrey. Right. Like if you're, bring, if you're doing a video from nine years ago, like everyone that's on the internet still nine years ago was saying awful things online. Like they were. And watch, she's gonna she's gonna make some allusion to how it was a different time. They said people said people just said whatever they wanted online, no consequences, no repercussions, thinking they're edgy or funny. No. Don't let these 
YouTubers lie to you. When they were doing this stuff, we were still there. Like, when Shane Dawson was in blackface and calling his friend a N-word, C-word, B-word, monkey face, black people existed on YouTube. And black people were not okay with it. We were not okay with it. And there are YouTubers who spoke against it. And you know what happened to us? You know what happened to the black YouTubers who spoke against the problematic fave? The comment section full of N-word, 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 bitch. I just said the word. Damn. Dang. I just said another better word. But the comment section is just full of absolutely disgusting misogyny. I'm going to R-word you just like your slave master used to. You get my drift? The internet back then was very disgusting. All of this, all of this hold yourself accountable stuff. I'm not going to call it cancel cult. I don't like when YouTubers are like, cancel culture is so bad. Shut up. You are a part of the cancel culture. Shut up. What, what we want is accountability. And they're trying to call it cancel culture. But this stuff of wanting accountability, demanding accountability, that was not it in the beginning of YouTube. There, there was no mob mentality for doing what's right. There was mob mentality to damage the ego of somebody who is asking someone else to do what's right. So when Trisha says there were no consequences or repercussions, she doesn't mean that nobody was upset. What she means is YouTube was full of BS. Because YouTube will promote that stuff. YouTube rewarded you for being like that. That's what she means. So what she's saying is she didn't have that moral standing back then. Because if if YouTube if YouTube will pay you five hundred thousand dollars to do something that you morally are against, would you do it? Some people would, some people wouldn't. But the point is, own up to the fact that you didn't care about that stuff back then. I also understand there is a a cult mentality, a peer pressure. You know, all of your peers are doing it. All of your peers are reaping rewards of it. All of your peers have so many fans and so much money and so much promotion by doing it. Maybe I should do it too. Even the black people were do. Listen, there are so many black people from that time who notably they're no longer popping or they're, they're no longer on YouTube. Um, curious, wonder why. But if you interview them and ask them, you know, how did you feel back then? They will tell you it was a horrible time in their life that they felt constantly disrespected and they had to smile and take it. Otherwise, they they wouldn't have a career. Um, so I understand this, this psychology of being swept up with the crowd. Um, but if this is supposed to be an explanation or an apology video, you need to own up for your choices at least a little bit dang and i feel like i had a lot of hate in me for a long time and um like i'm, I'm working on like truly letting that go because like it really does yeah make she does person. and I've, I've been on the receiving end on it and i've done it you know i've also spewed out hate towards people and it's mm-hmm. like it really sucks like it really does it really sucks and i feel i feel i feel awful there's no amount of guilt and like sickness i get when those videos get brought up you know? i don't know if that was a Freudian slip if she meant there's no limit to the amount of guilt. Interesting. People saved them and downloaded them and now are like, well, they did this then, they did this then. And there's, you know, again, I thought I was being funny or edgy and I feel bad. And I, I just, and even in deleting those videos, it's not enough for people. So she's performing. Why is she so focused on who it's enough for? If you feel the need to address something, you address it. 
right? You address it in the way that what it means for you. And if you need it to be enough for anybody, that means you are trying to perform. You want us to tell you what's enough so that you can perform. This is evidence number two. Evidence number one that this is a performance, it's edited. But she don't cut out the right things that she's supposed to cut out. Number two, she keeps talking about enough. This is a Trisha Paytas production. As told by Trisha Paytas. Performed by Trisha Paytas. Written by Trisha Paytas. In A minor. You have to address it. I've, I've apologized for so many things and I'll continue to. You didn't really apologize. Um, every time she's apologized for something in the past, it was very dismissive. Do it. Like... A lot of my old videos are just like not, they're just not a reflection of who I was. Even then, I remember doing videos then to just get any sort of attention. I, any attention was good attention. I just needed money. And I so why do you still do some of that stuff now? Because you still, maybe because you still need attention and you still need money. Her spending habits are horrible. I just would say and do literally whatever. I've said so many things I don't even agree with. I would just, you know, and I know I'm paying the price for it now. And like, I, I totally accept it. I'm not, there's no cop out. But I what does she mean paying the price for it now? What what does that what does that mean? How was now different than all the other times? I think what it what the difference is now is she doesn't have just a huge sea of supporters. She doesn't have all these other channels who support her. She doesn't have a big name like Shane or who you know or whoever who who, who want to collab with her. She doesn't have. Does anybody want to collab with her? Not even Tana Mojo want to collab with her. She no longer has people who want to work with her. Nobody wants to work with her. Yeah, literally nobody wants to work with her. I think that's what she means now. I think having that lack of positive reinforcement is what she means by now she's paying the price. I really do feel like I need to address this. And I know addressing this still won't be enough for some people. And that's why who I cares like, about that's enough? Like some people don't address Stop it. performing. It'll never be enough for some people. But for the people who still care and still like watch me and like have been here through so much with me, like I feel like I owe it to those people. Like that, like there's, there's, I experience guilt on I... a daily basis. There's not a day goes. Yo, somebody's, watch, somebody's going to be so mad at me for mocking that little emotional shakiness in her voice. Someone, somebody's, somebody's going to be mad at me. Listen, I think this is performative. I don't think it's real. Goes by where I don't feel guilty about something, where I don't feel ashamed of something. And like, I, you can't delete, you can't delete the internet, right? When something's out there, you can't delete it. And that sucks. But like, I feel like deleting videos, like, sh like instead of being like, well, at least it's a step in the right direction of like. She wants us to view the deleted videos as a step in the right direction. So she wants us to assume she had good motives. Right, because a step in the right direction means you are doing something good for the intention of something good. How do you expect us to assume you have good intentions? After all that you've done, you expect us to now assume you delete videos with no explanation that you have good intentions. Stop spreading more hate or, you know, taking out something that once represented, you know, that once, that once was me, it is no longer me. Why, why did it take you till now to delete them? You've had, you've had years, 12 years, according to you, you've had 12 years to remember to delete them. Can you, can you answer that one? Like I, I thought that was like a step in the right direction, but instead it's just met with, um, why do you like, care? Like something and it's like, that's just not who I am. It's, it's not what I agree with. It's not who I am. I just. It's embarrassing and I am like, I'm, I'm ashamed. I'm so ashamed. It feels weird to not post as often as I used to. I mean, obviously I'm still posting. But it feels like every day, it feels like the sick feeling in my stomach and it just is like. See how she left this in? This is, this is 1.5 so times speed, by the way. I people down. Like I, I've been a shit person in the past, like a real shit person. You're still behaving and like 
an S person. Uh huh. See that she's leaving this in. You think she's? And there's nothing I can do to change my past. You think she didn't leave that in for a reason? Yeah, I really. I really don't know where to go with this stuff. I guess just to answer the question, I, know I deleted those videos. I guess you could say I was hiding, like I'm hiding that person that I was, this ignorant dumb bitch from, you know, a lot of people think, ask or want to know like why. Let me say it's, it's cathartic to hear her refer to herself that way because a lot of us have been thinking it. I have animosity towards my hometown where I grew up. I, you know, I feel I was so sheltered and I don't know. I mean, maybe it's no one's fault, right? It's a small town and everyone's kind of the same vibes and stuff and they don't educate one diversity and it was a different time and all stuff like that. And I, I hate that. Maybe it's because I'm black, so it's never a different time when you're black. Like, it's always the time to be anti-black. I don't know. Um, but I'm also a woman, right? So I don't know. Like, do, do other women not... Like, how can you say it was a different time? Like, do, pe do people not feel? Did they not... Did they... I don't know. I don't know. But I will say I've never been the type of person who could just go along to get along. So if I felt uncomfortable about something, I would note it. I would speak up against it. So I don't know. I just, I understand it was a different time, but the feelings are still, were still there. The feelings were still there. Yo, I don't know. I don't know what, what is it about me that is, that I was able to steal. How I feel now is how I felt then during the different time. So it's not a different time for me. I don't know. I think it has, to, I think it has something to do with being black because black men have also me during the Shane Dawson stuff. Black men have been talking, have been saying it's not a different time. I've heard gay men talk about it wasn't a different time and other LGBT. I don't know. There's something about being like a double group or something. I don't know. There's something, there's something about having an identity that is not considered a standard and having like, bam, bam, like, I don't know. There's, I don't know, but mm, I don't know, but black men were even called this out too. So I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, but just, just pay attention, pay attention, just pay attention to who are the type of people who say it was a different time and who are the type of people who push back and say, actually the time wasn't that different actually. Just, I don't know. Think, think, think on that. I don't know. I want to, I want to know your thoughts. Cause I actually don't know how to process that. Like I was really ignorant. I was really dumb and like really insecure and really, really hateful. Um, and I, I'm so sorry if any of those past videos we were up are of hurting anybody like i, I wish Why i could take it back to delete them and i uh, i'm addressing it now what do you mean you tried your best to delete them you deleted them what do you mean i tried my best to delete them what is the th this sounds like um like you know customer service and you're like hey i was you know can we get this this uh fee waived and they'll come back like i'm so sorry we tried our best to accommodate you you know what I mean? Like, what are you talking about? What are you talking? This is my horribly fake New York accent. What are you talking about? There's just so many. And it's just like I deleted them for a reason. I wanted them wiped from my image. Because yes, yeah, so you want to start fresh. You want to start anew. You want to pull a Jeffree Star. You want to pretend like the past didn't happen and l allow people to forget. So after a couple of months you can start getting brand deals again. Brittany Dawn, okay, she, that's the chick who did that. She did something like that. If you don't know about her, she's actually in my area. Um, She's in my area. She 
defrauded a whole bunch of women with a fake workout program. Uh, she was exposed. She wasn't giving full refunds. Just so sketchy. Then she was selling. Um, she was trying to sell products that were way overpriced. Like people just like ha had nonstop problems about her. Her sponsors were revoked. So what she did was she deleted all that. She deleted her past. She deleted, just delete, start fresh, start anew. Don't bring it up anymore. Move on. Let the heat die down. And now she has a new career. She has a career. She has sponsors again. This is what these online personas do. Um, is it wrong? I don't know. Like, I, I'm it's your livelihood. It's like, it's like if, if you got, if you got fired from a job and, and then from then on, you just could never get a job, you know, and you just had to do something completely different. I don't know. When it comes to trying to stop somebody's bag for perpetuity, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I feel. I don't know. I don't know how to feel about it. I don't know how to feel about it. Because that's not what I think or feel. And it's definitely not what I stand for anymore. And to be, if I'm being honest, it's not at the time. Again, I did that as satire, as parody. There was, you know, a, like an SNL skit making fun of somebody. And it's, I'm not Saturday Night Live. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> See how this left in? She, she wants us to feel what she's feeling. She wants us to to feel like she's really, she's really feeling this. She's really thinking. She's really, you know, the past few weeks, it's just been like, one see, day. see, did you see that edit? It's like you, why didn't you clip that? You should have clipped it earlier. Why did you intentionally leave, leave, leave that in? After the other, just finding every way to drag me down and some things just are so wrong and so we're finding every way to drag you down lies and just like unwarranted just like hate lies but this is warranted this is warranted right this is something that this actually affects me right why like, does this affect you what what makes this warranted and what what makes this affecting you in a way that's different is it is it really just because of courtney freaking started it, it's something my past it's videos i made and there's some yeah you've also said like there's, there is no lies. out there it's just like i just i don't care like honestly it's like when people say stuff that's just like not true or they try and tell me they try and rewrite my history and say this didn't happen you have to apologize rewrite for this is what it's like stuff that actually happened history. to me i don't care whatever if, if baby you have written erased and rewrote more times than any of us could do like i know my truth on that right but like this kind of stuff which is just hard fact just i made poor comedy choices i made poor ethical choices It just sucks. And I. That's where you're supposed to say, I'm sorry. Like that's you. You weren't supposed to say, let's rewrite the script. Trisha. You weren't supposed to say it just sucks. You're supposed to say, I am sorry. And then you're supposed to tell us exactly what it was you're sorry for like not this vague you dancing girl you dancing have you ever seen somebody dance around the bush have you ever seen somebody beat around the bush so hard that the bush stopped bushing i think the pit my stomach really came from courtney who i really i really love them like i yeah, really I really it's because do. of courtney kind of to my podcast now again. that's why it affects you because it's courtney courtney is the one who made you, you know, feel not like, us because i just know i just know like from that place, like I would never like have them on my podcast if I like hated that person. And I just, again, I couldn't even read it. It just made me sick to my stomach. And I just keep seeing like these old clips. By the way, people have been circulating these old clips for a long time. Granted, not at this scale that it is now, but baby, I've been seeing these old clips for years. Resurface of just skits I've done and stuff. Resurface like marks. And, um, like, I'm, I'm just so sorry. Mm -hmm. I, I'm just okay. We're okay. 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 We're moving. We're moving. Okay. 
Now, now that you have said, I am so sorry, mm, you need to now provide us the details of what it is you're sorry for. Just so sorry. And so, like, just so embarrassed. I'm just so embarrassed about those. Like I said, there's something that I messed about up those? on. About those? What are those? What are those? Like, mm, so close yet so far. I can take people hating on me so close yet so far that's something that just doesn't exist in the real world that just some people may if you just make like, hate on me for something that doesn't that's not even real okay fine this is something that i did and you and she keeps br mm -mm, bringing up what's not even real girl you just messed it up you just went back you took a step forward and you went back this is this is the cancellation part that 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 i do take to heart because it is something that i, that I, I screwed up right here I hate this part right here. But I didn't know what else to do. I deleted the videos, you know, I deleted it's like a billion tears. views worth of views. It's like I hate this part. It's right just not me and it's nothing I stand by or stand for. And it makes me so physically sick. Like truly. And again, I'm apologizing to people who do care for people who are going to hate. It's not going to be nothing. I, I, I honestly, they don't care. If, you know. Do you need to come in? And I'm so sorry. No. Someone's trying to tell me there's food. Yeah. You can always interrupt for food. To be parody. And that was 12 years ago, whatever. And, you know, they've gotten so much hate. Very unwarranted, you know. This is what I'm saying. There's like enough shit to like actually hate me for. There is enough shit in my past that like, to make up stuff is like what's the point? Like you know to rewrite history to make me out. See to, now, now you know. So she's just trying to clarify and just really make sure that we know this video is not in any way an apology for the BS that has recently happened. She just wants. She just wants to make sure that we that we're aware that she stands 10 toes in what she said last time that was crazy all it's like, like yeah, there's enough shit to actually hate me for and this is this is a thing to hate me for right like people making up stuff or saying like oh my god apologize to the person, person you know people are telling me to apologize to people yeah who she's just people are telling me to apologize she's just reinforcing to apologize to people who have like literally the, the ruined my life that she person. said last week she, she meant it mm -hmm. and that is like so fucking hard to deal with well you deal you know, with again, it girl i've been shit i've been shit to a lot of people i get it and i and that alone i have to deal with but now having to deal with like people saying apologize this or this person or you need to talk to this person like people who've harassed me lied on me abused me like all stuff like that it's just like it's just it, there and there's really no winning because people can make up whatever they that's want what happens when you lie on people publicly i don't know what these people harassed you about lied to you about a but said you about i don't know all we know is what you have told us and what you have told us seems to be lies and stories so that's why people are asking you to apologize we don't know what else happened and you know we never asked you to tell us any part of it so if you're gonna voluntarily tell us about something, then you need to, you know, not be two-faced on it or lie on it. That's, yeah, you just gonna have to deal with it because you made that bed. You like, anything, made you that anything bed. More about me. Anything people say now in a title is true. And that'll follow me around forever. And it's so fucking scary. What's scary about you did, you did this. Why you leave this part in the video? There's nothing I can do about my past. Like, there's nothing. And, you know, you have every right, everyone has every right to think of me as shit for the rest of my life because of the shit things I do. Like, this is still, look, like, look, look how much like, more, look how much more we have. Give me that, like, past trainer, there's a lot because, look, my videos have come out to bite me in the ass before. And I, I've done thousands, I don't know, I don't know how many, 5,000 videos? And thousands and thousands of videos, and they will always be, and they'll always be out there. And I'm just... Mm -hmm. 
That I'm, was I'm kind of the point, right? Yeah. Like I said, this has definitely been like the roughest, the roughest people have been on me. And like I said, I think some, some warranted and some totally unwarranted and, told, and that also takes a toll because I'm like, wow, you can literally be canceled for something that's, that's true, but people aren't saying it's not true just to make, like to paint you in every way to say something's not true, mm -hmm. something horrific that happened or horrific things that happened in my life to say it's not true and then you get canceled Why are you talking? Girl, we already know that you clowning on this. Why did you, why, like, I'm try, I try why did you include like, it in this morning, video? Like, best affirmations. And let go of things I can't control and no 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 but it's part of this, as far is, as this is important people, like this is important if you have a mental health issue affirmation's not gonna fix it this is my this is one of my pet peeves about the self-help manifestation stuff people use it to mask their mental illness and it's dangerous. I just came out of, earlier this year, I left a very toxic work environment. And the dude who was the most toxic of them all and his wife, they both have mental health issues. Okay, like, <laughs> um, like, uh, like almost Trisha Paytas level, okay? Okay. You see why I left, right? So they, instead of actually seeking help, going to therapy, taking the appropriate medication as prescribed, this dude was not taking his medication, dude. I could, I, and I could, t after he told me that, I could tell when he's taking it, when he's not. Ooh, anyway. They thought they were good because they read books. Read books. I can tell when you're not reading books. Say your affirmation. Read Think and Grow Rich. I can tell that you gave up on doing Think and Grow Rich affirmations. Be positive. Just, or you can do all of that and also See your therapist and take your medication as prescribed. Wow, what a shocker. What a shocker. And for me personally, after I left that situation, I was able to put myself in a better situation where I was able to afford better treatment, which what is it's so funny that these people like Trisha Paytas and the bad workplace I left, these people have the money to afford proper treatment, but they... They're not, it's like, I don't know what's, I don't know. I don't know why they refuse it. And now that affirmation stuff in the self-help books and read more books, all of that stuff helps me so much more because I get treatment that I need first. It works so much better that way. Trisha, your affirmations will work so much better when you actually go get a dang diagnosis. Oh, MG. Intentionally or unintentionally, like, it sucks. It sucks that I hurt so many people with so many of my videos. It just fucking sucks. Even this past year doing the podcast, you know, I I feel like my, my, my personal, you know, my, I started attacking people and it just... I'm the last person that needs to be doing that. Like, you know, another, you know, it's good. It's a blessing in disguise. Like, of course, I love doing the podcast and being loved and all that stuff. And it was fun. And whatever, yeah, but it was a blessing was in disguise fun. because, like, I'm the last person that needs to be going to the service at anybody. While it lasted. My, I am so clouded. And that's why I was so scared to talk about anyone's past or bring up past tweets or things from years ago because my history and my stuff to be brought up is so rich and so dark. I was always scared of this. And I kept those videos up for way too long. And, like, truly, the only thing I can do besides apologize is, like, is just show just you show. haven't actually apologized yet oh that like or try my best she said i am so sorry but for what like you she hasn't she has never given the public a true and genuine apology <laughs> ever to change i know i will never be commenting on anyone's life 
ever again. YouTuber, celebrity. Like, well, thank God for that. In any negative fashion, not even in my real life, not even my personal life. Like that actually, that'll bring some good karma your way. Good for. Like you. I said, I'm thankful for this because like I like it's it's taught me like a really like again as far as like being harassed for stuff in my past, <laughs> harassed for stuff that I'm happened and was telling me did it. As far as my psycho my psychology, I'm like, my mental state. It's like. You know, I just went to therapy and it's like I'm I, I'm obviously doubled that because being on the verge of a mental breakdown like every single day, it's like again, I try my best, you know, life. What does that look like, like double that? Why don't oh. you go to an actual psycho physician who can diagnose you and give you medication that's I'm appropriate so for your diagnosis? I'm just I'm so sorry. And I feel so sorry feel for like so so gross and I and I and I accept it. I accept all of this and, and um no one has to forgive me and everyone has the right to feel upset and hurt by me oh. and I hope in time that'll change and I hope it won't change if you continue to stand by the lies and the double speak behavior you've done over the past couple of weeks I think she's just hoping we're all going to just forget like it's going to be a new scandalous person and we'll just forget. And Trisha will have a new brand, a new brand. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's the plan. Anyone knows that like things I did were for money, for attention. And it really like, it, it wasn't really, it was never to hurt. I, I never thought anybody would see my videos. That doesn't make sense. You have over 5 million subscribers. What do you mean you, you never thought anyone would see your public videos? Even when you were posting them back then, you had a lot of subscribers. You had like a million subscribers back then, at least. What does that mean you never thought anyone would see your videos? That doesn't make, that doesn't, that doesn't make sense to me. How do you have videos that are on your public YouTube and you have millions of subscribers and you're always on T channels and you're aware of this and you thought nobody would ever see your videos. That doesn't even add up logically. And that's why I didn't think anyone would care. And again, being on this and now it's like, you didn't think people cared when you posted it, when you posted that stuff, people cared. You, when you post that stuff, where, when you could get away with edgy humor, people cared. You didn't think they would care in 2021. For a while, it's like I feel. Yo, now, it just doesn't make sense. Like, anyways, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna hop. Bye. See you next. Li literally, we'll see you next time. We'll see you in how many days? We'll see you in. Um. Oh my God. She just put out another video while I was recording this. What is this, honey? I've been warning you guys. So I have been doing something so completely wrong. Yeah, like so I said, see you next awesome. time. Here's next time. I couldn't figure it out. Like, I literally couldn't figure it out. Because, like, everything, everything in the past year and a half, two years has Just been comments. going right, right? And I'm like, what? What happened? What happened in comments. the past few months that everything seemed to be going wrong? I was like, I don't, I, I, like, I couldn't grasp it. Like, I'm literally, I was like, I'm going to therapy. I'm doing the work. I'm taking medication. I'm doing all this. And I'm like, I'm like, what is going wrong, right? And a lot of right now people are like, you're like manic. Trust me, this should be a manic low right now. I shot music videos over the weekend. Like, this should be a manic Yeah, she's low manic. For me, and I'm just on an even bigger high right whoa, now. Whoa, 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 whoa. She's I manic. And this is my I know I have her on a faster speed. She, she, whoo, baby, the bipolar. Oh, I want Pearl Swirl to react to this. She sounds, this sounds like a manic episode. Hold up, the way she's speaking. Oh, God all of you guys this is listen. a warning to really really listen to like really listen and hear this yeah y'all would you speak into the universe to... it it freaking happens and i have known this for like so long and i feel like i'm like the ultimate manifester like i speak things yo and, what like, did i just say bro i cannot this is why i the manifestation stuff, people with mental health problems, instead of focusing on their help, they just go into this manifestation stuff. Oh, my 
my god. She's ma no, bro. Mm-hmm. But whatever, she'll cycle through. I mean, and if she actually is getting medication consistently, I don't believe that. I just, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't believe it. I don't, I don't believe that she has medication that she's taking now. In therapy, then she'll cycle through. Like it's everything was going great. Like I always had seen myself like living. Let's, a, let's, a nice life and having nice up, let's things. And fast like, I was like, I'm okay now. I don't know. I've never had like training as an actress. I never like you know had a really special talent. I'm not skinny. I'm not super pretty. Like you know, like, all that stuff like that. Like I had no education. Like I mean, like do you know what I mean? Like, I had no connections. Like, all this stuff. Like I never cared about that. Like I was just like, like I see myself being successful. I see myself being influential. I see myself having a voice. I see myself having a purpose. I see myself with a nice house. Like, do, you, do, you understand, do you understand how crazy it is that even like, we're able to like purchase a home? Like I am an overspender, a Listen, shopper. Like I, all of these things. Like it doesn't make sense that I would ever own a home. Like, I could never save money. The manifestation stuff. I'm into it too. Okay. And I think about this stuff a lot, like, you know, like I mentioned before, the place that my partner and I were just January of this year and what we have now been able to manifest, um, oh my gosh, I mean, <laughs> food, baby, the stories I could tell, um, What's crazy is now, but <laughs> look how her mind works, though. She was trying so hard to find an explanation for herself that does not involve her taking accountability. And she and she said, Eureka. She said, you guys, I, fi I figured it out. I have figured out how to explain everything without having to address my own issues. Mm-hmm. To save my life. How did that happen? I don't know. I, I, I envisioned it so perfect and so clear. Like I was like, I see this house. Last winter, my, my then boyfriend at the time got me this like, house that looked just like this house that I live in currently. I didn't know this was a dream house that looks just like the house that I live in currently and had this balcony. And on, like, it's downstairs. Like, the little house is downstairs. Like, it, it has like a little, like, it's, it's, it's a house, but it's like a jewelry store. There was like, a big diamond in this, this, in this, in this balcony. Like, I literally posted each other. And then, that was like last year. Like, Dude, when we were, like, broken up. I don't know what I, I, I can, I cannot do Trisha Paytas manifestation videos. If, if she is going to be this manifestation guru no i uh, i can't like, not better, like literally did not think that i would I ever can't. get because of my mm -hmm. credit like crazy crazy stuff like that like, like my credit was bad and we ended up under like getting like statement loans but like regardless of that like you know what i mean like bad credit shopper, like yes and then like not only did we purchase this house but we also got engaged like with a with diamond ring like when it just seemed so far off the ground but you know what you know why you because i wanted it because i saw it i was like i see myself owning a house i see myself getting married to this man like i you know what i mean I, like you, i spoke into existence i feel like i've done that so many times in life like there was there was a time like, there, like i think in august there was a time where like everything Okay, so let's not watch this whole thing. Is that the gist of it? Every random thing that I remember, because I remember thinking, and I was just like, I don't deserve any of this. Like, I'm getting canceled. This was, this was two months ago, right? I'm like, I'm getting canceled, and I'm using this as a paraphrase. This is not music. This is me reenacting it. You know, I'm getting canceled. I don't deserve any of this, right? Like, there was, there was like, there was something else too. There was something else. I was just like aligning. I don't know. And I was like, I don't, you know, I don't. I just said that. I said that. I said to myself, I was thinking these thoughts, and guess what happened? I just brought that back into my life. So the warning is here. The secret. I found this book because I read this Baby, she did not pull out the freaking secret. Oh, can y'all do it? The universe doesn't care. They don't hear. Can y'all do manifestation guru, Trisha? Can we hand? Is this the new era? Can we handle it? I can't handle. I can't. Mm -mm. Is this the new Trisha era? As the secret says, it doesn't hear. No, it doesn't hear. I don't want. It doesn't. Like no, you have to say what you want, not what you don't want. And I was just like, I don't. You know, I don't deserve this. <laughs> And I honestly like, don't even think about it, right? I do it, I don't think about it. But then I'm like, kind of like, it starts coming back, right? I have to time off from checking emails past couple weeks. So I haven't huh, Did she say I don't deserve? And again, I don't do it. This like, the universe is going to reward me. Cancellation? Like, you're not, your talk's not really prayed to ask for things. The secret is this too, like, right? Like, it actually talks about, like, attracting wealth and, you know. Oh, whatever. I was like, I'm going to do music videos. Like, if I can, don't worry about how you achieve things, right? Did I, did I, was I able to make music videos or something? I don't know. But there was other things that allowed me to start achieving these goals of making full production music videos. And I was just like, do you know what I mean? Like, it's pretty, pretty gnarly. And in a good way. Not in a good way. There are so many things you can't control. And there are so many things that you can't change. And there's so many things that you've been questioning. And just like, it, it could feel like there's literally nothing to grab. They're, they have nothing to hold on to. You're just going to be like, what? Okay. Honestly, just, 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 is it from a movie? Just, you just have to like reach up. Because that's from a movie. If you just reach up, like, there will. I don't know what she's talking about. And I was so, I, I've been focused on like what I can control. Say about me, things like this, like, you know, and like, oh my gosh. And, and I, I lost control. And I lost control. Like, and I kept thinking about it and hurt. And those, those thoughts, like, it kept intensifying, intensifying, intensifying. And it just got to a point where like, I literally couldn't take it. And I literally was going to like, give up on everything that I love and I was just making content posting videos also like that and I was like this is but this is what I want this is what I want to do this is what I love and I will also affirm that you know 
the right people will see my videos, the right people will enjoy it, I will make the right people happy, I will make people feel comforted and feel like they're not alone. I will, you know, all that stuff. And um, hey, I don't even know, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna manifest, I'm gonna manifest being a little thinner. <laughs> if I'm gonna be superficial on a secret, like I see myself, I see myself being 30 pounds lighter. I see it, I see it. And you know what? Like, yeah, like there's there's things that like maybe my way, like you know, the lack of self-control. Like I don't care about that. I only see being thinner, lighter, and being able to tie my shoes without running out of breath and cutting off my belly circulation. That's what I envision for myself. And it's so freaking powerful. It's so freaking powerful. And I and I finally realized I was like, why, 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 why is everything, you know? Everything's not going wrong. Everything is going right on the right path. And it took me a minute because you know I had to like think that. I was like, wait, what is Okay. The soap opera, I picture myself in like a movie, maybe a Netflix movie. I picture myself okay. this whole book, but I'm literally 19 pages in. This is what I'm telling you. Do you know what I mean? I get this book. It's it's really old and people talk about it for so long. I mean, literally. Who like, gave her that? Did Moses give her this book? Is like, who no, gave her this book? Like, so many more people know this. And I do who gave, who gave this to her? I believe the 1% of America that's like wealthy and all this. I feel like we can grow that percentage truly, truly, truly. But if you truly believe and if you truly see it and you truly, truly envision it, and I truly envision all those things I just said, like, like almost, almost ridiculous. There's, there's more things and you can write it down or just think it in your own head. There are more things in my head that seem so ridiculous, but I see it so clearly. I'm not going to say it right now. I will on my, in my journal for the new moon and like you'll hear. But they say it's so powerful right now to manifest and the, the new, everything comes to fruition in November. <clears> so, okay. I feel better. Just feel, just know that life, that you are on the right path. And just keep affirming and keep that law of attraction. What is meant? You don't chase. I don't chase. I attract. What is meant for me? You know, some people attract, think she on last drogas. I will accept all the blessings, all the goodness. And yeah, just keep that going. All right. So I hope you know. The warning. Stop doing the negative. Don't do any negative. Don't do any no's. Don't do I don't, I don't want. Only focus on what you want. Because the universe will not hear. No, don't. They only hear what you speak. So make sure you say, I want this, this, and this. And don't be shy about it. And honestly, tell people about it. Like, this is the first time I'm like, yeah, I'm going to be on a TV show. Like, the, I know it. The other I thing it. I don't like and about this manifestation stuff is that people who have already achieved success will dis talk about their life retroactively and say, oh, it's because of manifestation I achieved the success. Like it's, it's after they've achieved success and now they're giving talks, like Rachel Hollis, giving talks about all you have to do is also believe and you can have the success that I have there's just so much I do not like about the mess manifestation guru circuit I I simply cannot stand it I'm into those principles I'm not into the people who talk about uh, the people that you mainly see talk about the principles there's only I used to be subscribed to literally every manifestation channel, what have you. I've unsubscribed from all of them. There's only like two or maybe three people who discuss manifestation that I will even click their video for. So, and it's nobody that you probably don't know them because they have like less than 10,000 subscribers. So, oh God. Well, if she starts doing manifestation videos, um, that opens up a whole new realm of discussion that we can have because there's so many charlatans, fake gurus, scam artists, con artists, um, pyramid schemes. There's so literal Ponzi schemes. There's so much baloney that has stemmed from the friggin' secret. The secret itself, like the author of that book herself, is a con artist and one of the biggest proponer, proponers, proponents of manifestation, Abraham Hicks, they put this woman on black. This is Abraham Hicks is the, they are the mommy and daddy of this whole, of if you've heard of manifestation, manifest the law of attraction, if you've even heard it, that person learned it from Abraham Hicks. They put the author of the secret on blast. I was like, Mm, I am here for this manifestation guru. See, honey. Ooh, child. So anyway, that was quite interesting. Um, Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. We've been chilling for almost an hour. I was just taking a break from work. You know what I'm saying? I was, 
I don't know. I just needed a break from work. Like, for real. They trying to stress. They really trying to stress. That's one thing. Like, please don't stress about work. Like, calm down. We only have one life to live. Do not be letting W2 stress you out, please. Whew. So I just had to take a break. Thank you for taking a break with me. I mean, literally, you could have spent your hour listening to anything and anybody else, but you were here with me. And I hope you take a moment to comment your thoughts. And if you comment enough, then I'll like actually remember who you are and we can build this parasocial relationship and whatnot. And that's quite interesting. Actually, I have some things I want to chew on based on this. And I might make a follow-up video tomorrow or the next day or something. Thank you for being here with me again. Until next time, much love, much luck. Peace out.